Whether intentional or not, some of these are seriously heinous. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 ugliest wedding dresses in movies and TV. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we're looking at the most horrible bridal gowns to ever appear on the big or small screen. Number 10. My Best Friend's Wedding Cameron Diaz is gorgeous, but even she couldn't make this monstrosity look good. Although Diaz's Kimberly deserves to find happiness with the man she loves, her dress almost makes us wish that Julianne had stopped the wedding. I'd like to take you to the church so you can walk down that aisle and marry the man of our dreams. Kimberly is young, naive, and wealthy, but clearly all her family's money couldn't buy her a half-decent dress. Cameron Diaz seems to have bad luck with wedding dresses in her movie rules, because more than a decade later, she wore another terrible dress in What Happens in Vegas. Needless to say, it should have stayed in Vegas. I do, I take them. Number 9. Love Actually I therefore proclaim that they are husband and wife. Juliet is another beautiful lady who fell victim to a truly terrible dress. One of the first scenes of the epic ensemble cast romance Love Actually is a wedding that several main characters attend. All you need is love. All you need is love. While the spontaneous rendition of the Beatles' All You Need Is Love is adorable, her dress certainly is not. We get it, it's December, but that's still no excuse to wear a feathery sweater over your bridal gown. Also, we love a good crop top, but your wedding day may not be the time to try out trendy styles. Number 8. Friends <laughs> Rachel Green is known for her fashion sense. Hell, she even has a hairstyle named after her. Of course, we never could have anticipated her sartorial future based on the pilot of Friends, where she runs into Central Perk in her wedding gown. Rachel? Oh God, Monica, hi, thank God! The dress itself isn't absolutely awful on its own, but paired with the veil-slash-headpiece combo she has on, it turns into an early 90s disaster. Luckily, Rachel had many memorable outfits in later episodes that let us forget about this first impression. Well, maybe I don't need your money. Wait, wait, I said maybe! Number 7. Girls What's happening? Jessa has a signature boho chic style on girls, and the dress she chooses for her wedding is no exception. In the show's first season finale, Jessa invites the others to an event, which turns out to be a surprise wedding ceremony for her and her new beau. I now pronounce you man and wife. <laughs> we get that she was going for a laid-back, devil-may-care look, but the end result was a total mess. It's ill-fitting and ultimately very unflattering on a character that seems like she would look good in just about anything. You don't think I'm crazy. Number 6. Bridesmaids Don't. You. Dare. Laugh. <laughs> One of the funniest comedies in the early 21st century focuses entirely on the planning of a wedding. Bridesmaids was groundbreaking in terms of female-led over-the-top comedy, so it was fitting that the bride wore a dramatically terrible gown for one extra laugh towards the conclusion of the film. The idea behind this crazy dress is that it's supposed to look like one of the final dresses that designers send down the runway at the end of their shows. It's covered in an absurd amount of ruffles and features a one-shoulder design. It's never a good sign when the bride's gown is tackier than the bridesmaid dresses. I think this one is going to be a disaster. Number 5. My Big Fat Greek Wedding If you were hoping to see a gorgeous gown at the end of this movie, prepare for a big fat disappointment. Although Tula would be fine with a small intimate wedding, her family turns the walk down the aisle into a circus. This is especially apparent when it comes to Tula's wedding dress. At least Tula acknowledges that she looks like a snow beast upon seeing herself in the mirror. I'm a snow beast. When it's all over, she rips off all the bows and florets, leaving the dress looking at least marginally better. It's still extravagant, but perhaps that sums up the tone of this comedy. Like a big frosted cupcake. I know, it's like, oh. Number 4. Betsy's Wedding Betsy may be a student of fashion, but that doesn't stop her from making a serious faux pas. This movie tells a story of a young eccentric girl marrying into a well-to-do family where everything in the planning process goes awry. And I have to change the... what, the... the lace? 
No, not the whole thing. We don't even know where to start with this one. First, there's the top hat. Not a good start. Then there's the high-low construction that reveals her legs, but still has a train in the back. Finally, there are the cowboy boots, which can work in some situations, but your wedding isn't one of them. Sorry it didn't turn out the way I thought it would. Number 3. The Haughty and the Naughty Every little girl's dream. Some of these movies are great films that feature bad wedding dresses, whereas this is a decidedly bad movie featuring an even worse dress. As a matter of fact, the film's quality is evidenced by its poor critical reviews and commercial failure. Is about on par with Paris Hilton's wedding gown here. Sorry. This eyesore looks like it's trying to channel Princess Di, but instead comes off as a total train wreck. There are pink applique flowers, giant puff sleeves, a ridiculous embellished bodice, and pretty much everything you'd expect from a horrible bridal gown. All right, everyone, party's over, out. Number two, The Golden Girls. Oh, Dorothy. Oh, you're beautiful. B. Arthur rocked some pretty horrible clothes throughout the show's run, but it was the 80s, so we'll give her a pass. The wedding dress that she wore in the series finale, however, is pretty unforgivable. I can't believe it. This is for me. They're standing for me. We can confidently say that we've never seen anything like it, as this gown has features that no one would ever imagine putting on a garment. You have to see it for yourself, because it's nearly impossible to describe the marshmallow-esque bits of ribbon that adorn the dress's neckline. The lace-deep v-neck also seems somewhat inappropriate. Number 1. The Proposal Wow, incredible. Maybe a tad uh, loose in certain areas, but otherwise... Oh. In one of the funnier romantic comedies of the 2000s, Sandra Bullock plays a Canadian woman who needs to marry one of her employees in order to continue working in the United States. The groom's grandmother is played by Betty White, another golden girl. She wants the bride to wear her old wedding gown, which is, let's say, unflattering. Been in the family for more than 150 years. This dress probably wasn't horrible when it was originally worn decades before, but it looks pretty disastrous on Bullock. Even after the gown is altered to better fit her, the high neck and droopy sleeves look quite awful. I'm sorry. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.